The Paul K. Longmore Institute on Disability. The Paul Longmore Institute on Disability started in 1996, and it was started by Paul Longmore, who is a historian, a professor here on campus at San Francisco State University. Photos of Paul Longmore throughout his life. I'm Emily Vedix, I'm the assistant director. I think that the institute for him was about having a place where it's okay as an academic to be an activist for disability rights. The advisory board gathers around a table for a meeting also for bringing together activists who want to learn more about critical disability studies scholarship and to provide ways for having those conversations happen. I'm Katherine Kudlick and I'm director of the Paul K. Longmore Institute on Disability. Our main goal is to expand people's thinking about disability so largely that they embrace it as a form of creative thinking and uh, ways to interact in the world that's not what you'd expect. Photos of people with disabilities in the arts and sports. It's so clear to us when we have run our events and when we've done our projects that we really have people walk out the door who just say like, oh man, I, I'm never gonna think about disability the same way. A sign that reads, this is what disability looks like. One of the activities that we do is we have a Longmore lecture in disability studies every year. For us, that's a way of honoring Paul once a year. A quote that contains images of activism, culture, and everyday life for people with various and visible disabilities. We also try to bring in somebody who does the kind of work that Paul did, somebody who is academically grounded in the field of disability studies. Various books written by Paul Longmore but who's really out there with grassroots ties as well. A quilt made from various activist t-shirts that Paul wore. This most recent year, we were fortunate to have Alice Shepard. Alice Shepard delivers notes at the Longmore Lecture. A dancer who has amazing things to say about disability, but also amazing things to say about dance. My name is Alice Shepard. Alice performs an artistic dance in her wheelchair. I'm a dancer and choreographer, and I'm also on the advisory board for the Longmore Institute. I know that the Longmore Institute is and has been and will continue to be a place where people who live impairment, disability in all different kinds of ways can come and be and see and experience. Superfest International Disability Film Festival. We took it over about three years ago. The event is wonderful. It's absolutely amazing for us to be able to get together like this. Anthony Tesler, an award recipient at Superfest. From an insider's perspective, for us to make it known how we really feel without having to hide those and pretend that we're something other than what we are. A large crowd cheering at Superfest. I'm Gene Schelberg, and I'm the Associate Vice President for Student Affairs and Enrollment Management here at San Francisco State. One of the things I think is really critical about the Longmore Institute is hopefully through doing work in various fields of study that students who might not otherwise have been exposed to experiences of disability all of a sudden get a new perspective. I think it's really important that people reimagine the possibilities and reimagine their prejudices. And, and to make the point, I pull out one of the pirates. Pirates are basically disability action figures, and nobody ever thinks of it that way. I mean, if you think about it, we've got the hooked arm here, and we've got the eye patch and the peg leg, and you've got all these features that are never read as disability in our society. And in that split second, prejudice, um, misunderstanding, misconception, kind of becomes clear to people, more thinking, wow, maybe I have some limited perceptions of disability that I haven't analyzed. So many people are gonna experience disability at some point in their lives, whether they're gonna have a child with a disability, whether they're gonna obtain a disability, and you know, if all of us live long enough, at some point we will. If in that moment where all of a sudden disability hits close to home for you, and you can start from a place of like, this might not be tragedy, this might not be my life is over, that can make such a personal difference. A close-up of a quilt containing images of Paul Longmore. This is really the space where you can build an intellectual, activist, academic community. And um, that's different from building a department or a program. This is a pretty unique opportunity right here. The Longmore Institute gets to be a place where we get to work on the long term. And for people with disabilities in the long term to be equal, to be fully integrated into society, that requires cultural change. That requires a celebration of what disability can bring to the table. A photo of people with disabilities at a human rights protest. 
you know, we still need to get a lot of support in order to be able to keep doing that work. A giant replica of a March of Dimes tin depicting a young Paul Longmore. We need all the help we can get, so, you know, um, do all the things that would make you engage with who we are and what we do. And uh, welcome, it's a big world out there and it's really, really interesting. For more information about the Paul K. Longmore Institute on Disability, please visit longmoreinstitute.sfsu.edu.